Well, hello my dear creative and welcome to this video where I'm going to accomplish this watercolor. The inspiration behind this drawing is this magnificent view on Fiji which I enjoyed during my Fiji vacation. In this video I will show you the final stage of accomplishing this watercolor because on stage one I did uh, the first layer and now I will add some details. As you can see I did a couple of preliminary sketches for this watercolor. So here I will use two brushes, even though in this sketch and in this one I used this brush. Uh, it's uh, from Germany and uh, it's number 12. But for this bigger scale drawing I will use the second brush and it's uh, number 4 from Linio Kalinski. It's also German. From Germany. These both are all these are synthetic, synthetic brushes. So my watercolor is from St. Petersburg Leningrad brand, very famous brand. Uh, my paper is from Jumbo, it's watercolor paper. And yes, let's get started. So the very first I always do is I take my watercolor and I fill it in with water. I fill in water to my favorite colors actually, which I will primarily use in this tutorial. So this is cobalt blue, these both are cobalt blue, this is ultramarine and also I will use uh, cobalt yellow, this one, and uh, lemon. Lemon color. Oops, and I did a uh, water draw on my paper. Uh, you can dry your brush and you can quickly collect the water. So if something like that happens to you, you can use maybe a paper towel, something like that. Mm. So let's begin. Yes, and First thing I want to do is to show this beautiful palm tree. I'll show its silhouette first. So in terms of composition I will locate it the same way as it's located here. So as you can see I'm starting with really light color. First, you can show the silhouette of it, maybe I want to add here another palm tree, like that, and here let it be the third one. So as you can see I don't uh, use here any pencils and I didn't use uh, pencil for all of these watercolors. So I just simply start with coloring. So yeah, for a lot of people watercolor look like very complicated subject and at the same time they really want to master it because they love the transparency of the colors, they love this lightness of watercolor and the biggest struggle for them is usually <laughs> actually water. Yes, so they struggle with the amount of water they should add uh, to their drawing. So the best advice is to simply not be afraid of it and if you make a mistake you can always begin a new sketch like watercolor drawing because as you can see this was the first one and I like wasn't satisfied with it at all. I didn't like it. Uh, so I simply started the next one and yeah this is the way you learn. Like it's okay to learn from your own mistakes. So these are two compositional dominantes of this palm. Also probably here I uh, will show in more detail kind of um, 
some plants here. As you can see here, I worked with them. So it will be my uh, foreground. So it will be more detailized, better precision. And now I will quickly, quickly sketch it. Next, uh, at the background we have these palm trees and here I will use uh, actually the same and I will use this number four brush uh, because I really want their uh, trunks look very very thin. So I'll again start with very light, quite light color. So I'm mixing now ultramarine and uh, like English red color. Here I'm using because as you can see here I did this uh, trunks with this brush so I used this brush only for this sketch and I feel like they need to be more thin more elongated so it will show the gracefulness of palm trees okay so for this big sketch I decided to use a slightly bigger brush You want them to be really irregular and a symmetrical composition, so it will look very natural. So here we have the shoreline, and simply make sure that we don't draw them like too long. And if you really wondering about travel sketching and would like to um, study it, like to study watercolor and in interior design drawing or in urban sketching or sketching on vacation, please let me know in the comments because I have a video course in Russian on interior design drawing with watercolor and on travel sketching with markers for beginners. Uh, simply let me know if you want this course to be uh, translated into English. Because uh, right now, uh, like before my trip to Fiji, I uh, finished translating my fashion video course uh, into from Russian into English. So it was on fashion drawing for beginners. With markers. So, okay. This is it. And this is the shoreline. And I think I will add maybe a little bit of precision to it so we can see the tide here. I'm using now, I'm mixing cobalt blue to make this color a little bit more grayish. But this is background, okay? So we really don't want to be uh, too... If I feel that it's too much water, I, I'm actually using both of palettes. So here I want my brush to be a little bit drier. And I'm showing, showing the shoreline a little bit more precision. Watercolor is really all about layering. So, literally a couple of strokes, so we can see the difference between water and earth here. So now we clearly see where the water starts and this gives us better understanding. Okay, so probably this is like a low tide, 
situation. Okay. Mm, let's also prolong this line to the left. So we can also see the shoreline here as well. Because here we'll have a lot of palm trees. Okay. I don't want to go uh, into too much details now with this background, so I will focus more on this foreground. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to add a couple of really bold uh, palm trees. So I'm using very, very bright yellow, bright green. And I mix it with ultramarine and it creates this lovely emerald, almost emerald green. A little bit of uh, English red. And now I'm going to do this palm leaves. So let me see. Let's in here as well as here. I'm trying to be very quick so my lines look really, really organic. And it's a great idea to add different colors so it will enrich the foreground because foreground we want it to be more dense, more colorful than the background uh, in order to create this effect of aerial perspective in our drawing. Now I'm making my uh, brush a little bit more dry because I want to add some beautiful effects on these leaves so they will be with some volume not as flat as they look now so here we can simply take off some watercolor now I'm switching again back to my um, thin number four brush and I'm mixing now cobalt yellow with ultramarine and it creates this beautiful uh, like bluish green color it's not as open as let's say like if you mix regular green with cobalt yellow or cobalt or blue so it creates this beautiful color palette now drawing okay so I will be adding more and more patterns of the leaves here. The farther they are from us, the more lighter, the lighter they will become. So I want to show this tropical jungle, the abundance of green colors here.
So I'm almost done with this sketch, with this vertical drawing. And probably one of the last recommendations will be regarding greens in your drawing. I highly recommend you to primarily use combination of yellows and blues, like lemon with ultramarine or cobalt yellow with uh, cobalt blue. It will always give you so much deeper green colors in comparison with you, for example, using this open green color, okay? so. Uh, my background was primarily done with uh, these combinations of um, yellows and blues. And yes, on the foreground I did use a little bit of this bright uh, green, because this is Fiji, this is tropical island, and uh, sometimes you really want uh, your green to look super brilliant, super bright. So a couple of last strokes. And you really want to follow the nature of the subject, like for example palm trees. I try to reflect their structure in the way I put uh, the color. So it's very, very quick strokes. Maybe I will darken the trunks at the top a little bit. And yes, I think that's it. Maybe let's show that there, there are also some palm trees. And finally, I will put my signature. So this is Fiji. Fiji by Olga. Sarakin. And it's September. Twenty nineteen. At the very end, it's a great idea to rotate your drawing and see what would you like to add. Maybe I would like to add here a couple of dark lines. Thank you so much for watching. You can find more watercolors on Instagram with my hashtag watercolor Olga Sarakina. For more inspiration, please visit olgard888.com. It's my website where you can find more information about watercolor and my video courses on drawing. So definitely check it out. Also, may I ask you to share this video with your friends on social media and subscribe to my channel because I post a new video every week.